guys, Matt from soundrolling.com. Already back in London in the rat race. So, I'm back. And uh, it's been it's been pretty good actually. Kind of slipped straight into it and uh, already have a job tomorrow and the day after that. Um, and I think I, I just wanted to give, I guess, a bit of advice about going away and a bit about how I try and do work-life balance. Um, obviously, when it first came up, uh, Obviously, Romina had all the time off already, and it was, uh, for me, being freelance, again, we always forget kind of that first little bit, which is free, which means that you can kind of, um, I guess, have at least a little bit of choice in your work-life balance, or at least you should. And I think further along, it's been a kind of slow, gradual process of me getting used to that. And just understanding that I had a, a spread of clients making stuff at different times, so people were going to come to me naturally at different times, as well as me being able to um, help people and get in touch with people. And yeah, so for this holiday, I guess I just wanted to share what I kind of did to just make sure that I could still survive when I got back. So I guess number one was have internet connection, which was obviously really good, really essential, check emails, that kind of thing. Um, still explore the city, still do all sorts of stuff. Uh, making these videos was actually really helpful as well because it gave a nice little holiday vibe to it, kind of kept me, uh, kept me. Um, I don't know, I kind of need to work, I need to do things. Obviously I have my app as well. So uh, yeah, I kind, of, kind of never not working, but taking a holiday, I guess, you need to just make sure that you're not trying to overstretch yourself. I didn't kind of purposely try and uh, take on more than I knew that I could actually handle as if it was just like a normal work day and uh, I guess in terms of uh, clients and other people that I work with keeping up social media wise um, and just letting people know kind of what I was doing um, obviously really helped and if a few people approached me for work obviously couldn't do it you explain why and then you try and keep in touch later down the line. Um, he used it really well actually uh, for meeting up with the guys in Hungary uh, and then I met up with Alessane in uh, Zagreb in Croatia as well which was really cool so meeting other sound people was really nice and it's just always nice to just have I think you need that bit of time kind of outside of not just at home or not just at work but kind of outside from your normal environment um, just to kind of give you a bit of headspace in a weird way even though I'm kind of always thinking about work um, and obviously having a big job lined up after you go on holiday is always a really good thing. So anytime I've kind of had um, a big block of holiday, I've always then had like the feature that I'm doing starting on the 6th in Amsterdam, which is going to be really cool, another place, another different environment. Um, so yeah, so I just kind of wanted to share that today really. So uh, let me know in the comments what you do, how you manage to go on holiday, how you get your own headspace, do you have any other projects, hobbies, that kind of thing. All my stuff seems to be related to sound, which is kind of convenient or not, I don't know. Um, so yeah, and you can always give a like on this video and more people can see it and you can always subscribe because there'll be another video tomorrow. So, until then, see you later.